So I don't know what's going on because I've been looking at, at duct work for the last like five minutes, and I've forgotten our you goal. You know, you had to say, "Oh, we're there's playing. we're not traveling or we're not climbing around ducts in the citadel." This is the game punishing you. Oops. <laughs> this is the game punishing you, Josh. <laughs> Shut up! I hate you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is wonderful! Oh god damn it! <laughs> okay, shh, shh, it's okay Josh, it's okay, don't don't get angry, do you, are, are, you, are you upset? Are you frustrated? Do you need to vent? God damn it, I hate you! Where's the, uh, grenade? Oh, there it is. See, Josh, uh, you, you... The, the, Josh, the harder you try to avoid, like, a pun setup, the sooner you're gonna trip mine. Oh, shit! God damn it, I didn't even mean to! <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the idea so, that it's the puns that are killing. You have to get out of there without setting them off. It's a room with crisscrossing red lasers. And you have to set I mean, none I of them off. I didn't know you before, but I know up. now. Yeah, you have to stand so, up. There's a vent in the ceiling. I, I love that when you pick up the mine here, it just starts doing its little clicky clacky trying to find ground uh, by by closing its claspers. But I like the idea that anyone who ever picks up one of those things that does that. So handling them is a nightmare. Where you've got these little oh god, Josh, you're gonna you're gonna drop that somewhere bad. Ah. What is the purpose of this room? To, to That's kill you an excellent a lot. question. This is Remember a ridiculous this... room. You guys remember this exact same room in Half-Life 1? In Black Mesa? Oh, no. yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> 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 it looks like you got shafted. Okay, okay. This episode is gonna be the worst episode we've ever done, I swear to God. Between Josh's dying and Restaurant's so. fun. Is there... is there a way... No. It's called God Mode. <laughs> you want me to open the developer console? I can do it. No! Oh, get oh, good! Oh, 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 Josh, oh. if I can make a hearty suggestion, I feel like the fuck, gravity fuck, fuck, gun fuck, fuck, is probably not Aha! the wisest tool to have available oh. right now. Um... <laughs> get... get out of the way, dude. You need it. Get need a big gulp of air! <laughs> You're dying to a dead guy. This is fantastic. <laughs> I like how he swims better than in you. In the elevator shaft for no reason. What the? Oh. Right. Yep. That's probably why the dead guy's there. To warn you of the barnacle. I mean, it is. Where's the, the place that I... Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. You can't... Elasticity me, whatever. Uh, so that's where I need to go. Is there anything down here to get? <laughs> Wait, that's where you a need pair to go? Of broken this is legs. Really... I don't know. Yeah, don't question elevator shafts in Half Life games, they make no sense. Uh, they're not as bad as the duct work. The duct work, do you realize that room we were in a minute ago? There was a duct that was attached to the ceiling, but it had a vent in the top. S like, what could that have possibly have been for? It, that vent was useless to everybody in the universe until the duct collapsed. Alright, so I'm in here again. Elevator services, I need you. Up. No! God damn it! Come back here! Shit. Alright. I remember. I remember I said a foolish thing earlier. I was like, I'll bet we're gonna finish this today. I told you. Uh, I'm not even sure we're gonna finish this room today. <laughs> this level. We might spend Fuck. several weeks on this level. 
Oh God. <laughs> just, I just love it. Happy. This Thank is you. great. I am enjoying this more and more every time we do it. <laughs> oh shit! I'm stuck again. No. I'm just sad that we can't die to oh, the mines one last time for good luck. Oh no, he's got me. <laughs> Will you make up your fucking mind? <laughs> No! God damn it. Alright, fine. Oh my god. If we land in this water one more time, I quit spoiler warning forever. <laughs> Let me in. Thank you. This is just basically the. Like, you know, people tell me that Eastern Europe, you know, it has its good terrorist destinations, but I would not recommend this water park. The rotting corpse and rust water park? Huh. Cannonball after cannonball into the corpse water. This this whole area feels pretty not so great design wise. Yeah. You are not wrong. On, it's, fall. it's not I, telling oh, us it's, it's not telling us a story and it's not really giving us a bunch of new gameplay, it's just Platforming Hello? in the dark with mines. Yes. Although in def in a minor defense, I will say the moment when you crawl, when you stand up outside of that duct, and you're in a room filled with laser trip mines and exploding barrels, I actually laughed. That was actually so over the top <laughs> that it made me laugh. It was just so ridiculous, and I actually appreciated that moment. So, like, is it supposed to be a joke that, like, radiators have the highest physics damage in the entire game? They're no, heavy just... as hell! Yeah. It's like the heaviest thing you can pick up. With the gravity gun. Yeah. Yeah. They are seriously heavy. I get so nervous whenever I see you pick up one of those explosive barrels with the gravity gun. I, it's getting to the point where I get excited. I'm like, oh boy, we get to see all this again. <laughs> okay, apparently we're not going that way. Nope, it's time for the trick of interacting with something on the other side of a laser grid. Oh. Uh... Oh, never mind. Wait, wait, wait. come back. Fear oh, I got two of them now! <laughs> you are the radiator gladiator. Oh, God. Or at least oh, we have my, uh, an episode title shitty now. Shitty sniper crossbow. There we go. Yeah, the, the sniper crossbow is tons of fun when you have just the right situation to use it. But in general, it just, it just sort it's of feels like a use waste it of a weapon. to ricochet bolts for quick for uh, for trick shots. Those are fun. So you hit it in a bleak trick angle. Shots. Uh, you're I, seriously. I I have enough trouble with ordinary shots. Here, we'll, uh, Here's another moment where you come out of the dark kill the and you guys here, and, we'll, and you uh, notice we'll... you come out of the other underground and you're looking at the tower again. They just make sure that you have a, you're aware of the omnipresent danger, because oh, really that's, that's the whole episode revolves around that. Well, that and exploding barrels and duct work. You know, I have to say, Josh, about the that episode dude, or the game? that resistance dude who was watching you operate there, he's probably thinking, wow, how the fuck did this putt survive? <laughs> I still got five more bolts. Hi, guys. What's up? Oh. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> so how did the resistance oh, arm itself? Sake, Josh. Fuck. 
Uh, probably raiding armories. They've got the same guns as civil protection, so... Hey, what's up? Can I have That's that? That's how you do it, eh, Freeman? I don't know. I'm working on my trick shots right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> also, picking up explosive barrels and lobbing them inches from your face so that I can open boxes, despite the fact that I own a crowbar and a gravity gun. Hey, Although, actually, at this, this point, I you don't, don't have a actually do have you? a crowbar yet. Yeah. Oh hey, are you letting me in now? What are you still doing here? <laughs> People together to force our way through to the train station. People are meeting up in a safe house nearby. Can I have Why that? is train station one word? Let's go. This way. That's a good question. Maybe it's just to reflect how he pronounced it. I get hung up on that sometimes when I'm writing Maybe and you know it's a mistake. Is yeah, it video probably... space game or video game? That's one I struggle with all the time. I have no idea. You could find plenty of examples of both. I think either is accepted. Hey, it's me. Open. I think if you write Can video you? space I it was game, much universally you video kind space of out game. yourself as being somebody locked in the 1990s. I mean, yeah, I've what Rob Garden said. As I never use. Word. Yeah, I've, I've, <laughs> I've never put a space in there. <laughs> oh, no, I've always, I always put spaces in there. What are you guys talking about? What the hell? Yeah, what Josh said. <laughs> okay, apparently we do have a lively debate here. <laughs> and I'm on both sides. I'm gonna hedge my bets until there's a winner. Okay, okay, guys. You heard what Dr. Kleiner said. We all gotta have sex right now in this room. <laughs> I clean this Can patch with the cardboard box. There is no more cleaner. <laughs> all right, guys, you and me. I call ventilation. <laughs> what? That's me it. And this That's dude, all there we're is having in the, sex. the lambda cash here. <laughs> and everybody's like, Gordon, I, I don't think he meant gay sex. <laughs> I think you're missing the point here. <laughs> and then just like, awkward, there's an awkward moment where like six like people call Gordon the simultaneously. The only reason Gordon Freeman is doing I call anything. Freeman. I call Freeman. <laughs> I like the idea that the only reason Gordon Freeman is doing any of this is so that he can have gay sex. He, he stumbles out, he he's like, Alex is like, so how was it? He's like, uh, after 15 minutes they kept telling me to reload. So Chris, say something about this part of the game. I'm trying to figure out if they remade, well not remade, but whenever they get around to making Half-Life 3 or the, whatever the next Half-Life game is going to be, what are they going to do for their little gimmick gun? Because I, I don't think a gravity gun is going to work anymore. It, this was revolutionary in 1990 or 2001 uh, or three. When, when was this game released? Four. The 2004. original Half Life Two. 2004. 2004. Wow. Uh, but but it's still not like a gravity gun is not going to be impressive in 2015. It's been done elsewhere. Well, the whole Everybody point was to sort of show it. off. I guess what I'm asking is, yeah. are they going to try to develop another thing that shows off their engine? Because that's sort of what the gravity gun was there for, to show off their fancy source engine physics, um, versus... I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what are they gonna bring to the table, and then what gun can they use? That, that's probably a better way to, <laughs> to approach novelty guns, is like, what interesting thing can our can our engine do? And then let's build that into the mechanics. Oh, like, crap. oh, do God we have it. destroyable environments? Well, let's make a gun that can, you know, blow up walls. Something like that. Yeah. I, there I was know. a what lot of speculation 
That they would use Valve the portal a... gun? Yeah. Valve has a pretty good track record of not chasing dead-end gimmicks. Gordon. I mean, you know, this game's had a huge emphasis Please on physics, me but, you know, that did prove to have legs. Yeah. I mean, it's played out now and everybody makes fun of it, but really, in 2004, that thing was mind-blowing. It's just we did not get to play with physics before that point. Yeah, and it's not the worst special thing you can say about it really now is that then. it's not mind blowing. It's not played out. It's not like you know particularly you know obtrusive or unpleasant. You know, you still play it, and you're like, oh man, I get to launch razor blades. That's fun. Environments that can burn down, and so you have a gun that makes chairs. fire. Yeah, Far Cry 2. I often wished I could burn more things with my flamethrower. You know, it's fun lighting an entire field on fire for no reason than to win a temporary gunfight oh. in my ongoing crusade to profiteer oh, yeah, blood sure. diamonds from this war-torn country. Now, come here, look over here. It is interesting to note that if you hadn't stopped the Citadel from blowing up, Barney would have died. He's stuck Standing here. here waiting for you. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. Let's go. That's an awful lot of hope, uh, or faith in, in Gordon, because it's like, apparently you've been missing for days, and there's no, they see a huge explosion at the top of the Citadel, knowing that that was where you were headed, and you disappear for days, and then Barney's like, I'm gonna wait here, I'm sure he'll be back. Oh, was that well, to be to fair, Okay. I mean, this is the second time you've saved well, his life. Barney, what the f- Can I Or arguably the oh, third damn. time you've saved his life. Counting separate incidents at Black Mesa. Well, it depends on how many Barneys actually exist. <laughs> well, even just speculating that there's one Barney who you never met during Half-Life 1. I mean, you saved the entire facility from being blown up with him in it at least twice. But he, I mean, not he that also it didn't get blown up later, but he's also yeah. the one that lets you in at first because he talks about that Birio Zoo and. Uh... Yeah. I think that's the guy in the intro of Half-Life 1 that said that? No, uh, Barney is confirmed to be the guy, the what security the guard you see banging what? on the door. Yeah, what just Wait, happened? What the shit? You, know, oh, you won! Uh, you win! That's a victory screen. <laughs> I, I thought the banging on the door guy was the guy from Blue Shift. Because that's who... Well, Blue yeah, Shift is the canonical Barney, but... I, I thought we had a debate about how canonical the, the Gearbox DLCs were, and we decided not right. to Right, uh, that's the not. question is, like, is Blue Shift actually canonical or not? I think Valve has actually confirmed that, that half the Barney banging on the door is, in fact, supposed to be the Barney Calhoun from Half-Life 2. What? Okay, guys, oh, so uh, I shoot it with a bunch of buckshot, but you kick it in the sh in the side and it dies. I'd like to say, if, when it comes time to have sex, let's not have it in that room. Just, <laughs> that's my suggestion. Well, let's <laughs> definitely have it in that room. I, I like the idea that just silently, every room oh, we go we in go. and every spoiler warning, Seamus is just judging it for whether he would have sex there. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> There aren't many that I put in the no category, but that was one of them. That guy just fell straight through the floor of this bridge. Really, just <laughs> anywhere with sharp objects on the floor is just asking for trouble. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of curious, actually. Sorry, Doc. Does it instantly <laughs> kill me if I drop down here? Because this is like the same level area I was at before. You'll no, die. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Oh, you didn't die. Okay. Yeah, we get to do that again, Josh. <laughs> Josh. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Do I Barney, oh, now didn't you leave? <laughs> I like that we get to do it again, but now with less health. Assuming you can remember how to get there. No, I got Actually, it. I have to question I would... the layout of this place. Where did Barney go? <laughs> well, Barney I don't know. just fucking vanished, apparently. He teleported. Out. Get out of the way. I, I'll, bet he, I'll bet he's looking for some place better to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I, I feel like I had something to say about Barney a minute ago, but no, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I ever did... tried that in a Half-Life game. I'm, I always thought it would instantly kill you. You never tried having... Oh, the jump... I thought we were still talking about sex. I never... No, uh, well... <laughs> there was just one can't time. leave that subject alone. <laughs> Josh so has his have... barrels. <laughs> Rutzkorn has his puns. And I apparently... I'm thinking about sex in all these horrible, horrible, filthy rooms. Let me have this. Hi guys. <laughs> um, so we have two major debates. There's how to spell video games, and then there's also um, which Barney is the real Barney. What? We need more debates. I'm trying to think of other. I think you got oh, that head crab on the wing with your trick shot a second ago, Josh. And I know for a fact you were not trying to do that. <laughs> Stay down. Go back to sleep. <laughs> back to sleep, huh? Oh god damn it. Looks like he threw to trigger a mention the jet mines. to their plans. God, stop. I, c I couldn't even get that one out. <laughs> Ow, what the... All oh, right, there's a gunship we have to fight here. Oh, I man, want my magnum. Quick, Alex, into the tub. And then you just like push the tub with the gravity gun throughout the rest of the level. <laughs> She's shooting out of it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. She's, they're lurching back and forth, bouncing off the sides of the tub, going, "I hate shitty vehicle sections." <laughs> Oh yeah, this part. Yep. I like this because the we were talking about destructible environments, and here's one. I love this. This whole room just disintegrates during the course of this fight. That's pretty cool. Fuck. Okay. Where even are you? It is kind of a pain in the ass to track it down, though. Did I hit it? I don't know, but rockets are cheap, my friend. Fucking no. <laughs> not sure I wonder how much of our defense budget there. goes into infinite rocket fucking. I want to know who lugs these up here, since it would have to weigh in. How is that much. not a kill? To kill him, you just have to shoot half of the rockets in this box at it. There we go. Oh, hi! I apparently missed it falling right next to me. <laughs> yes, apparently. I like Alex's comment. Okay. Here. It is also apparently made out of metal. You know, since she made that eye. comment, it seems like they should have taken the... It seems like they should have taken the time to give it a special sound effect. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> that one guy got to ride his very own rocket. <laughs> the others had to share. No, I want to go back up there and get more rockets.